In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the CT604 coupler bleeding tool from Enerpak to show you how to minimize the risk of injuries from projectile parts and underskin hydraulic fluid injections. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Clay with Gustin Hydraulics. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you want to learn to work safer and be more productive, make better decisions in equipment acquisition and system setups, start by subscribing, click the bell so that you don't miss any new videos, and by all means, share this channel with your safety directors, tool crib managers, and especially the people using these tools. As always, I'll post links to the products that I'm talking about here in the description down below. Just click down where it says more to see those links. Those links will take you to the product pages on our website where you'll find more helpful information, more details, uh, PDFs from the manufacturers, related products, and if you're ready to make a purchase, hey, we appreciate if you purchase from us. What exactly does this tool do? It relieves hydraulic back pressure by safely bleeding off locked up couplers. A locked up coupler happens when a coupler set comes unthreaded while under pressure, allowing the ball or cone valve to seat in either coupler and pressure builds up because the oil can't flow through the coupler anymore. So how does this thing work? The main body here threads onto either the male or the female coupler, depending on which one you want to unlock. You will use one of the two remaining pieces. The one with the long stem works for the female coupler, and the one with the short stem works for the male coupler. Once you have the body threaded onto, for example, the male here, such as this all the way on take the correct piece in this case it's the short one again for the male and also known as the hose half coupler thread that on you'll feel it start to touch that cone or ball valve it's going to be a little bit it's going to be a little bit stiff because of the pressure that's behind it once it once it stops you can tell you're there and then just slowly thread it and that pressure will blast out into this uh, 10,000 PSI rated body here. Similarly, with the female coupler, also known as the ram half coupler, take and thread the male part of the main body into the female thread of the collar. Take the appropriate side in this case, because it is the ram half. Take the one with the longer stem thread it in you'll feel it touch the the valve and from there slowly turn it in and again the pressure blasts into the the body here that's rated right at 10,000 psi working pressure to safely release that pressure never ever use this tool on a cylinder that is holding up a load without first making a plan I talk more at length about coupler safety issues in another video that you can watch right here and I strongly recommend watching that one before using this tool or for that matter any other 10,000 psi pump cylinders or systems in regard to couplers the Enerpak CT604 was designed to work with the Enerpak C604 coupler set. The female coupler is known as the CR400. The hose half is a CH604. However, uh, there are other brands that the tool will also work with, such as the equivalent Power Team coupler, Simplex, Orbit, and some other brands that are out there. If you aren't sure, just ask us. Power Team also makes a version of this tool that I personally have not used yet. Uh, if you have happened to use one, please leave your feedback down below. Let us know what you think down there in the comments. Um, as speaking of comments, if you have any questions, comments, uh, things I've missed here, we really appreciate your feedback. Uh, future videos, if you have suggestions for those, fire them down there in the comments. Again, we really appreciate it.
This is a simple to use, relatively inexpensive tool that can help you and your team work safer. Every tool room and toolbox should have one where 10,000 PSI hydraulic quick couplers as described above are being used. To learn more about other types of couplers, check out our coupler guide right here. And until next time, thank you for watching and work safe.